a little bit of what? A wiggle room. What is wiggle room? Like this, so you can go, whoa. Eee. I should never dance in public. <laughs> hey, beautiful soul. How are you on this fine and lovely day? Thank you for joining me. I'm really glad you're here because I wanna show you this really amazing pattern designed for you by Michelle Ferguson. This lovely crochet top is perfect for warmer temperatures or for layering when the weather gets a little bit cooler. And I really love the light and airy feel of it. It's very floaty and it's so comfortable to wear. I feel like it's just a fun splash of summer and it's just something you would wanna wear on your ideal vacation. And I love that it has short sleeves so you won't get stuck on Sleeve Island boohooing away. <laughs> that you just <laughs> that you just can't make yourself finish that second sleep. And I feel that this is the perfect pattern to whip out all of that speckled yarn that you have lying around and you're just not sure what to do with. It can totally handle it, but it also lends itself really well to solid yarn or variegated. You can make stripes, you can do whatever you like. Woo! <laughs> This pattern uses fingering weight yarn, so it has a really nice drape to it and it fits really great over your body. It's nice and loose and comfortable. And we chose to use our Cash Silk Sock Yarn for this pattern because it has the perfect combination of softness and drape and longevity because after you spend all these hours making this beautiful item, you want it to last for a long time. And this sweater ranges from a 30 inch bust to 60 inch bust and it does have two inches of positive ease which means the sweater will actually end up being two inches bigger than your bust size so you'll have a little bit of wiggle room. What is wiggle room? Like this. So you can go whoa. Eee. Now as for making this pattern the primary stitch that you're going to be using is the EHDC and what in the heck is that? If you haven't heard of it it is an extended half double crochet. So it's really simple to work. All you're going to do is yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch. Then you yarn over and pull up a loop. So you should have three loops on your hook. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull through just one loop. Then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook and you have just created an extended half double crochet. So let me show you again. You're just gonna start with a yarn over and insert your hook into the next stitch. Then work another yarn over and pull that through your stitch. So you should have three loops on your hook at this point. Then work a yarn over and pull through just one loop on your hook. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. This is a great stitch to know because it really creates a nice lightweight and airy fabric. So it's wonderful for things you're gonna be wearing in the summer months. I just love it. And it really creates projects that just shimmy shimmy. And this design also has this adorable Pico edging along the sleeves and along the bottom, which just adds a little bit of fun interest to the pattern. Picos have always had a special place in my heart. I remember learning how to make them as a little girl, and I just always thought they were so pretty. So to create them in this pattern, you are just gonna work a single crochet, a chain three, and a single crochet into the next stitch. Then you skip a stitch, and repeat that. And I'll show you again. Into the next stitch, you work a single crochet, a chain three, and a single crochet. And when you repeat that around, you're gonna find it creates this really pretty little edge. So I hope you enjoy this beautiful pattern and that it encourages you to get out there and make a top even if you haven't before because it is not too complex I would say intermediate level, and it's pretty easy to get the size fitted. If you would love to download it, you can hop to expressionfiberarts.com and download it there. I will also put a direct link in the description box below for you. Thank you again for joining me. I hope you had a marvelous time and that you find some time to crochet today because you deserve it. And don't forget how absolutely magnificent, beautiful, and unique you are. And don't you dare let anyone tell you that you're not because you are. All right, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Five, four, three, two, begin.
Okay. Is his fingering white? <laughs> Nervous. Okay. Woo! <laughs> so. Don't put that in people. I'm putting it right there. No. It's gonna go into your own big man. Okay. okay. <laughs> Lovely drape. Fits really nice. And mm, that sounds terrible. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I literally can't memorize that sentence. It's really simple to work. And then you yarn over and pull up a loop. So you should have three loops on. Do you have three loops? Yep. yep. Three. It's really simple to work. It's definitely a great stitch to know. And then yarn over and pull up a loop. So you should have three loops on your hook at this point. And then yarn, three loops and, ah, nope, sorry. And it really creates projects that just shimmy shimmy. Uh, what is shimmy shimmy? That's right here. Do it with me now. Woo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how magnificent and amazing you are. And don't let anyone tell you you're not, because you are. All right, I'm gonna uh, see. What? You're magnificent and amazing, boo. Woo! Mm. Claim it. No, no. Believe it. No. It's true. <laughs> don't let anyone tell you you're not, because you are a magnificent, beautiful creature. Unique, special. Yes. Mm. Someone save me here. <laughs> I'm drowning. Have a wonderful day. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Mm,